When the Hussite revolt began in Bohemia, Sigismund was dealing with Turkish affairs. It took a while to gather support as the Catholic Bohemian and Moravian nobility were not going to be enough to stamp out the revolt. So in March 1420, an imperial diet held at Breslau declared a crusade against the heresy in Bohemia and an army started to assemble under Sigismund. Meanwhile, the Hussites assembled at the Diet in Prague started to show signs of internal divisions, and Prague itself became a volatile hotspot of infighting between factions. Hussite radicals, made up of largely provincial and rural nobility and peasantry, demanded a word-by-word -word implementation of their interpretation of the apostolic lifestyle as outlined in the Bible with demands for equality and status across the board, in every aspect of life. This surprised and shocked the moderate Hussites, who were largely made up of the high nobility, university intelligentsia, and urban burghers. They didn't just see the radicals as uneducated provincials and peasants, they saw them as ungrateful for the moderate leadership so far, and the radical demands leading to the complete destruction of the social order as they knew it. Even with these divisions, the Diet came out with the Articles of Prague in mid-1420. The four key points that all Hussites could agree on. 1. Freedom to preach their interpretation of the Word of God. 2. Communion for all, in both kinds. 3 forbidding the clergy from enjoying secular power and luxury. 4. Appropriate public punishment of mortal sin. In June 1420, Sigismund's forces arrived at Prague Castle to attempt to relieve the siege and enforce his rule as Wenceslas's designated heir. Sigismund's attempt at negotiation with the moderates failed. They considered Sigismund responsible for the death of Huss at Constance, Sigismund refused to give in to their demands, and they were also afraid that Sigismund might attempt to assert absolute rule in the realm of St. Wenceslas, like he did in the realm of St. Stephen. Soon enough, Sigismund's forces suffered a defeat at the hands of Jan Zizka, forcing Sigismund to beat a hasty retreat, after he managed to get himself quickly crowned as King of Bohemia. After Sigismund was driven out, the Hussites began a slow process of turning on each other as the country was put on a war footing. A need for hierarchy and distribution of authority started to cause division, as well as the division of captured royal, church and monastic property. None of this was helped by the Hussite movement religiously branching out, as the various branches realized that they did not exactly agree with each other. Another Hussite Diet was held in June 1421, where the four Articles of Prague were declared constitutional and Sigismund von Luxemburg was declared unconstitutional, dethroned. The Hussites established a new division of power within the Hussite government and debated between potential new kings. In September 1421, another crusade against the Hussites began, and failed. Same with another campaign in 1422, and this would become a bit of a trend for the next few years. Meanwhile, the internal turmoil in Bohemia was escalating. Political and doctrinal conflicts led to the beginning of a Hussite civil war. Jan Zielewski was beheaded in Prague in late 1422, which caused another destructive riot. There was also an attempt by the moderate Hussites to um, get rid of the Hussite war hero and leading radical Jan Zizka, whose victories had gained him a lot of followers, making him a considerable threat. So a full-blown Hussite civil war broke out in 1423, Zizka gained military victories over the moderates, but the conflict was quickly over when the parties were informed that their common enemies from outside the realm were preparing another crusade. Zizka and his party abandoned their march for Prague and turned towards Catholic Moravia, where Zizka would die during a siege in October 1424. 
Another anti-Hussite crusade failed in 1427. Hussite victories were largely due to them having large, almost standing armies, fueled with a fervor of a popular religious uprising. But the Hussite armies were divided between different sects, and they needed a lot of supplies and money, which Bohemia did not have. So as their enemies were pushed back out of Bohemia, the Hussite armies took up raiding. The so-called Magnificent Glorious Raids into Moravia, Silesia, Lusatia, Austria, Franconia, Northern Hungary, Slovakia, in the words of one historian, did not encounter a favorable response abroad. Sigismund requested papal permission to find a peaceful compromise solution to the conflict in 1429, but that was vetoed by the Pope. Another crusade was called at Nuremberg in March 1431, led by Friedrich von Hohenzollern, the new elector of Brandenburg, and the papal legate Cardinal Giuliano Cesarini. The crusade fell apart in August. After the death of Pope Martin V, Cesarini managed a change of strategy and invited moderate Hussites to the Council of Basel. The Hussite moderates accepted the invitation in 1432, bringing them to the negotiating table. There was not exactly agreement on doctrine, but there was a willingness to keep talking. This lull allowed Sigismund to focus on other matters. In November 1431, Sigismund was crowned as King of Italy in Milan, and now wanted to get the grand prize, the imperial coronation by the Pope. Standing in his way was another crisis brewing between the papacy and the Council of Basel and the unwelcome influence of Venice. This delayed Sigismund's imperial coronation until 1433. Negotiations with the Hussites at Basel led to success with the Treaty of Prague, achieved in 1433, which allowed for Hussite belief within certain limits and further negotiations. This was not accepted by Hussite radicals for religious and economic reasons, as raiding was quite profitable for a few. So the radicals now had to face a united Catholic and moderate opposition to continuing the war. Things would come to a close on May 30th, 1434, at the Battle of Lipani, where the radical Hussites were defeated. A compact between Catholics and Hussites was reached via negotiations in 1436, recognizing the existence of two confessions in Bohemia with a weakened version of the Four Articles of Prague that somewhat brought the Hussites back into the fold of the Universal Church. However, the compact was never completely approved by the Pope, which made it all legally and theologically questionable. On the other hand, Sigismund agreed to the compact. He also agreed to the strengthened Bohemian Diet, the establishment of the Bohemian Estates without the clergy, effectively stripping the power of the crown and the church in Bohemia. However, this only applied to Bohemia proper, not Moravia or other parts of the lands of the Bohemian crown. The crown and church also could not ask for a return of land confiscated by the Hussites during the war, that now found itself in the hands of Hussite and Catholic nobility, leaving Bohemia effectively with a weak church and a weak king. Sigismund was again recognized as king of Bohemia on August 14, 1436, and he promised to respect the old privileges and new religious liberties for as long as he will live.